Welcome to my channel. This video is about the DC analysis of a SRAM cell designed with six transistors. First, design a 60 SRAM cell using PMOS and NMOS transistors. Go to the instance. I am using GPDK 45 nanometer. Then select NMOS and PMOS. Place the PMOS SRAM cell is a bistable inverter which is used to store the bits. So just flip this PMOS and NMOS horizontally. Just make the back to back connection of inverters. Both the sources are connected for PMOS. Both the sources of NMOS are connected. Similarly connected the substrate to the VDD and ground. These two are the inverters. The output is connected to the input and the input of this transistor inverter is connected to the output. So this is just back to back connection of a inverter. Take another two NMOS for word line and bit line. Just flip this or rotate right. Similarly, this transistor rotate right. Connect the output of this inverter to this source. Similarly, this one. Now these two gates are connected to form the word line. This line is the BL and this is the BL bar. I can connect this to ground. Similarly, this one. Once the connections are made, you can add the pins for VDD and ground as well. So this pin, you can take it as word line W L as input. We want two more pins for bit line and bit line bar. So this is the bit line. And this one is bit line bar. Make the connections. We require a VDD here. So for that, go to the analog library 
and search for VDC. So here you can directly place, I'll, I'll place here. Then similarly you require an input for here, a VDC. Connect this VDD and this is the ground. So get the ground instance. GND. Here you can connect. And you can connect this. Because it is already connected to the ground. Just make the required connection. Now we need to provide the inputs for BL, BL bar and WL. Let me take the pulse in the analog library search for B pulse. Place here for these three and finally you can make the ground connections. Copy this instance again copy all the grounds are placed and make the connections input and these these are acting as the inputs WL BL bar and BL are acting as the inputs and you need to take the outputs the outputs I can specify by using the wire name like QB and Q. This is the output of the inverter and this is also acting as the output. So connect this. So once the connections are made, apply the sources. Select this source, press Q and apply the voltage as 1.8. If you want, you can operate it 1 volt as well. Similarly, this one to DC voltage to 1.8. Provide the BL input. Press Q. The voltage is 1.8 and the period is taken as 2 microsecond pulse. Click OK. This one BL bar voltage 1 is 1.8 and voltage 2 is 0 which is quite opposite to BL. The period is again 2 microseconds or nanoseconds. If you want you can specify that. Word line 0 to 1.8 volt and this period is 4 microseconds. So once all these are specified, just check and save the design. Everything is fine. Then go to the launch, click on EDL. Choose the analysis, right click, click on edit, perform the DC analysis, select the DC option, save DC operating point, component parameter, select the component that you want to vary. I want to vary for V1 this one so this this is v1 let me change it to v1 from 0 to 1.8 
क्लिक ओके राइट क्लिक एंड सेलेक्ट द आउटपुट्स आई वॉन्ट टू प्लॉट क्यू बी एंड क्यू क्लिक ओके वंस दिस आर लोडेड क्लिक ऑन नेटलिस्ट एंड रन so this represent the dc characteristics it is just like a inverter vtc characteristics but to have the actual dc characteristics that is the butterfly diagram of the sram cell just right click and select y versus y select a trace which i want to plot is q you can see that and again you select dc right click y versus y this time you select qb click on okay once these are loaded just drag this or merge these curves and delete the third window this is the actual characteristics or the butterfly diagram of a sram cell if you want you can just throw onto it and change the colors or thickness of it and if you want you can measure the values as well so this is the shape or dc curve for a sram cell